So unfortunately the Aracana was still beating up um, some of the other chickens, the other hens, uh, the older ones. It was getting on okay with the newer hens, but the older hens they definitely didn't like. So I bought a new small house um, for the Aracana to live in. So I'm going to just put some slightly smaller 21 metre um, omelet fencing so it can have an outside area. We've got some turf for it and we've just put some anti-dig around the outside of the house. It's already laid me an egg <laughs> and I just need to put some bark in the bottom of that which I'll do probably either tomorrow after work or maybe Tuesday. At the moment it's fine with what it's got. It's got a sand pit, it's got some water, it's got the food inside and it's got some grit and now to see if it wants to come out. So I've been a bit sorry for it because obviously it's been in that small house um, for the last couple of months because it's obviously all I had extra to, for it to go. Tried reintroducing it, it didn't go as planned and it just wasn't having any of it. It just kept basically holding it down with its feet and just pecking it and pecking it and picking it. So I had to remove her. So Lisa managed to get this built this literally on Saturday. It's now Sunday and she's now got the fencing up so she can come out hopefully this is the first time I've had the door open so we'll see if she comes down actually I only made her come down the ramp this morning because she's never had to deal with a ramp before so um, but now she's been hopping up and down there quite happily so we'll just see if she'll come out for us so she finally decided she was going to come out it's her first outing down here in the Menage, well, other than obviously when it first got here for the first three weeks before it was naughty. And has decided she likes the patio and is sunbathing but she has inadvertently locked my mum in the summer house. Bless her. Everyone's come to investigate. Oh, I'm picking up a bucket. <coughs> Excuse me. These guys are getting big now. These little, these three were born in April. So they are nearly five months old. Nessa was suffering with a bit of uh, a diarrhea issue, but she seems to be getting a bit better now. So we're giving her electrolyte solution in her water. Thankfully, she was eating the whole time. We never had to stomach tube or anything. She was never that bad. Hello, what are you doing on the table? Um, but she seems to be doing a lot better today. Um, the last couple of days, she's definitely perked up, haven't you? She's gone back to headbutting, haven't you? What are you doing under there? Thankfully, it was it was raining all day long yesterday, so. Today I've managed to get out and try to do some more mowing on the sheep field, try and get that all down and nice and shorter grass for them to eat because the longer stuff they don't enjoy. Hello? What are you doing? It's like chewing everything, don't you? And Fraser's like, 
as if there's no food involved, I'm not bothered. Chewing the table. The adults are like, there's nothing on this table, I don't know why they're chewing it. Such a baby, aren't you? Let's chew everything just in case it's edible. Okay, so we finally got some sun and I've about finished in here. There's cold the nettles back down or up here and over here. Now I've just got that bottom bit there to finish to cut all the grass down. And then this will be fi finished and then I'll just go up and have to tackle that field up there. So hopefully this sun will hold out. I'll get it done. I'll just go to get some more petrol though because I'm nearly out. And then and then we're getting there. Hopefully the sheep will enjoy it.